Hey guys, this is Luke P here. Sorry I've been here in a long time. Stuff's been happening. So, um, yeah, but today I got a coaster chance for Michigan's Avenger. And what could we, they could be getting in 2015 or beyond, I think it is very likely that they can be receiving a coaster. So, uh, let's get started with the first possibility being, oh, First possibility being a Giga Coaster, and this is very unlikely because even though Cedar Fair does like putting them in, Missions Against Her isn't like a big park, and it may not be the best fit. A Giga Coaster kind of. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wiggling the camera. A Giga Coaster is kind of pushing it, if you ask me. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't think that it would be the best type of fit. The next possibility is a BNM Flying Coaster, and this is unlikely. Well, it's actually very unlikely because Cedar Fair has links with B&M, but one hasn't been made in a while. Not to mention, there's not even a B&M flyer. All the flyers that they... What the? That's weird. I don't want that. Anyways. Um, they haven't even... Don't even have a B&M flyer in the entire park. The only... What the heck? I don't want that. This is weird. I don't care. Um... The, 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 um, the Cedar Fair has, doesn't even have a B&M flyer. The only flying they have is a Vacoma Dutchman's. But the next possibility is a GCI Woody. And it says possibility three. Right there. It's really hard to see. Sorry. This is somewhat possible because even though Cedar Fair has links with GCI, Machines Avenger already has three wooden coasters. That, that doesn't seem like a lot. That seems like kind of average. But Michigan Avengers has only seven roller coasters. So a GCI Woody, it might not be, like, it might, I don't know. It's not, it could happen, but, like, they already have three, so kind of, you know. Ring Rider. This is actually somewhat possible. Cedar Fair has links with B&M, and this will be a really good fit. But Michigan's Avengers isn't a big park, and that's what kills it. If Michigan's Avengers is, like, a big park like Carolyn's, I would say this is likely, but it, also note that Michigan Avenger is one of two Cedar Fair parks to not have a B and M. The other one being Valley Fair. The next possibility is a launched coaster, and this is possible. Um, many companies can do it. It'd be a tremendous fit, and I said great fit. Wow. But there are no concerns for this one. Launch coaster is definitely possible. The next possibility is a family coaster and this is also possible this would be a good fit um be for everyone and there's also many types like there's um the vacoma suspension family coaster there's like the um the the uh -oh. there's the mine train i would love to see a mine train there that would be fantastic but it probably you know where could it go? Here is the 2008 park map, but really nothing has changed. Um, Thunder Huck and Grand Rapids were just installed. If I had to remove something, it would definitely be the railroad, because that is like a humongous amount of space, and they can put like even like a couple flat rides with the coaster. I would love to see that happen. Um, you know, the railroad isn't even used that often. And it's a small park. I mean, come on, really. If you're going to do a railroad, I mean, it's a really small park. If they did have to remove one, these would be the coasters or rides that they would remove. Um, the Thunderhawk is somewhat possible because, um, I don't really, I go to Michigan's Avengers yearly, and there's really not many people in line for it. Like, the thing about Thunderhawk is every time I go with it, um, it's always like a five to seven minute wait. There's no one ever there. The next possibility is Wolverine Wildcat, and that is possible. Um, but I wouldn't like that. I have a personal connection with Wolverine Wildcat. That was one of my favorite roller coasters of, like, a child. But it's still possible, unfortunately. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Luke P. Signing out.